March 7th, three National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration weather stations, or NOAA, detected the fall of what they believed to be a meteorite around 16 miles off the coast of Washington State. The fall was widely seen around local areas and widely heard around local areas. It came with some loud sonic booms. Mark Fries, the cosmic dust curator for NASA, told Live Science. Brittany Bryson, who was sitting in a fast food drive when it happened, revealed a bright flash filled the sky followed by a boom so loud it rattled her car. Quote, we thought it was a spaceship, she admitted. Now, four months later, Ocean Exploration Trust is working with NOAA and NASA to locate the object. On July 1st, the exploration vessel Nautilus investigated about 0.4 square miles of water in the Olympic Coast National Marine Sanctuary. And a day later, scientists deployed two remote control submarines, the Hercules and the Argus, to investigate the sea floor. It is the first time scientists have intentionally attempted to recover a meteorite from the ocean. Since the operation began, the search uncovered two tiny fragments of molten rock to be analyzed. And now conspiracists are claiming NASA are trying to cover up something much larger. Tyler Glockner, who runs YouTube channel Secure Team 10, believes too many people saw the phenomenon for the government to ignore it. He speculated that the event could be linked to the number of mystery booms that have been heard all over the U.S. from Ohio to New York. What do you think? What was the object that caused that sonic boom back in March of this year? Leave your comments below this video. Thanks for watching.